up Loud and Proud Crowd? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud Diesel Truck. So we are going to be working on the second gen Longhorn project today and hopefully you guys are enjoying the progress on this truck. We did get a good majority of the frame coated the other day, however, today we're going to be working on a little bit more progress with that. We do need to finish sanding down the hangers just a little bit more, not this one so much, but the opposite side. And then that top bracket there that kind of, kind of like a support across the back, but it's also just to hold the tire, your spare. And so we're going to get that sanded down and coated as well. And then we got to make sure we get the undersides of the frame, of course, and the inner part of that frame because we don't want it to rot out because, of course, the salt will sit on there. If you drive it in a salty climate and it'll just sit and rot throughout the bottom that's why usually the bottom portion of these frames in the back half are gone so we're gonna get to working on this right now in terms of the interior we haven't really done much of anything new inside there I did read your comments regarding whether or not we should go with a custom longhorn style interior which is like custom diamond pattern stitch seats and everything but keep it the longhorn colors and maybe brand it longhorn on the seats or second gen longhorn with the Latin Proud logo on the headrest and stuff and a lot of people are like no don't do that just do longhorn seats and there's a lot of people that are like yeah do that because it's still gonna be longhorn quality and maybe even better and still the same colors and all that stuff but it'll be fitted to the factory second gen seats. So the shape of the seats and brackets and everything else will still be factory and everything factory about it. Being able to slide it forward and backward and all that jazz and the you know reclining part, it'll all still work like it should from the factory. Pretty 50-50 in the comment section. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to see if I can find somebody to do the seats custom, but I'm just gonna tell you guys, it'll still look insanely awesome. And I know the people that say, just go with Longhorn seats so you can make a Longhorn. Well, the Longhorn seats are just the color of the seat. In terms of that, it's still gonna be a Longhorn looking truck because the only thing that makes a Longhorn the Longhorn is all the brown everywhere. And this truck's still gonna have that. It's just gonna be, you know, not technically a Longhorn seat that came out of a Longhorn labeled truck. So I hope you guys will get what I'm saying. It's still gonna be the Longhorn interior, just not out of another Longhorn truck possibly. Anyways, stay tuned, let's get to working on this and we'll kind of show you the progress. Okay everybody, day two of this video and we did get some more progress on the 12 valve here. Let me kind of show you what we got done. So we did finish up on this side in terms of getting it its first coat. We still have some off things to do like in between here and I'm probably just going to do like a rust-oleum paint on the leaf packs and I actually coat them with chassis saver because the way that those will flex all the time it's going to like kind of crack and it can kind of be just not good for it anyway so I'm just not going to do that because this stuff is like concrete. We did get our first coat up on here and it kind of turned out a little bit funny um, because I rolled it instead of you know dabbed it on with a little sponge like the rest of it. We did get a second coat on over on this side and it looks really good. It's real shiny, real clean looking. Looks really, really good. So what we're gonna do, and I also did get the cross member also, um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna coat some more stuff again. But before I do that, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do that on this video, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get a piece for the interior that we really need in this truck. And also I did just drop the Chevy off, the budget build Chevy, to get an alignment, oil change, oil filter, and just looked over. By the way, if you wanna win that truck, every $5 is five entries to win, and there's only five days left. So get entered while you can. Like I said, every $5 is five entries to win. We've never, ever, ever offered that deal, and we're only doing it because that truck is obviously not one of our big diesel giveaways. It's just kind of one that we're like, hey, we've got some fans of this truck. Let's give them the opportunity to get a bunch of entries in to try to win it. So that's why we're doing it. So if you guys want a super reliable, solid gas built truck, it's got a couple of little small rust spots on the body. It's not a big deal. Still super reliable truck. Go check it out on the website, lnpgear.com. Every $5, five entries. Hop on into the truck here and what do you notice? No dials. It does need a few more things like a little tray here and just some of the dash cleaned up and some other bits and parts and pieces and stuff like that. But let's just get to replacing the dot, well not even replacing them, just putting them on the, in the first place. So let's get to putting one of these dials on here and just seeing how much better that looks. Should be a pretty simple procedure. There's that one, that's pretty easy. I have a feeling we're gonna have a little bit of a problem with that middle dial, but we'll find out. It's technically needing a different dial. We'll order another one, don't worry. These ones kind of reseat like down into the dash so that they sit flush, you know, and they all work totally fine. But this one, <laughs> it, uh, it's a different style, so it needs to have one of those knobs that kind of sit on top 
of this back panel here, not sit down into it like the style that I had. But the ones down here for the heat and AC and you know where you want to blow in, those are good. But this center one, we just need to swap out. That's what we're going to be doing for those switches here today. So what I'm actually going to do also is I'm going to be getting one of these seats out. We do have some other items coming for the interior in terms of like we have carpet coming. We also talked to a guy about the seats. Hello. And I did talk to a guy. He's about 20 minutes from here. And he's like, I will do all kinds of custom interior. I can do diamond stitch pattern. I can like literally replicate, you know, longhorn seats if that's what you want. I can do like all kinds of different things. He's like, I can do whatever you want. You tell me what you want. You tell me your budget. We'll make it happen. I'm like, awesome. That's just what I needed to hear is somebody that's willing to take on the job. Just get it done the way we want to do it. So we're going to get to actually probably taking these up into that guy here soon i'm not sure what all is involved to take one of these seats off i'm pretty sure it's just a matter of taking bolt there bolt there and then the other two on the opposite side of course and then disconnecting the bench center part there and then other than that it should just i mean the seats should just pop out so i mean we'll see uh but what i'm going to do first is actually get to working on a little bit more of this frame here so we can get this coated up and wrapped up and done so we can be one step closer to getting the bed back on the truck. Because to be honest, I don't think my parents are the most uh, fond of having that <laughs> bed sitting in their uh, drive. So we're going to be getting this done a little bit more. And then we're at least going to get it done with the back section of the frame, the back half. So that we can get the bed back on. And then we can finish the front half of the frame a different time. But it'll all get done. It'll all get done. Trust the process. It'll happen. Just stay tuned. We're gonna try to get some more progress done on this thing today. making some progress on this frame, but it takes so much darn time. We did get the inner portion of that frame mostly done. Not 100% yet, but mostly. I did do pretty much all this, but I tried not to coat uh, the, you know, keys right here for the, what do you call it, the um, tow package. Not that they really have to be able to be removed because the nut is on the bottom side and these stay in place anyways. I try not to coat those, but I try to get everything done, at least on the inner on this side. And then on that side, it's not done. It got to about there and then have that. It, take, it takes so much time. Like I'm telling you, it takes a lot of time to do this. So I'm going to try to get the rest of that done another time. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to get on video doing that though, because it's kind of repetitive and annoying to have to do that over and over. I did get the dials on this. Like I said, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did get the other tow mirror put on. Now we did get something that just showed up. That's going to make a huge difference on this truck. So I'm going to get this garage door opened up and show you what we're dealing with. And we got a couple boxes in here from LMC Truck, but I'm pretty sure you should be able to put two and two together for this really big box here. I mean, what other part would it be other than what you're probably guessing? If I can find something to pull these staples out. That is a big one. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Okay, well, not very likely that I'm gonna be able to lift that thing out of the, out of the box without scratching my wife's truck. This one I'm not so worried about. That's why I'm trying to keep it closer to this truck than hers. So I'm not gonna take it out until I can get some help because it's gonna be heavy, but look at this. So we've got a cow hood that we ordered from LMC Truck. And this thing's not like insane it's not one of those cow hoods that are like oh my gosh we got like this eight inch freaking flare up on the hood no it's not like that As you can see i think it's like a two inch um and that's about it but it's gonna look really really stinking good and then it's got like that indentation down the center as well it's it's pretty slick and i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about that hopefully you guys are just as excited as i am to see this thing on this truck we also got hood hinges in so we're going to be able to do the complete conversion of this hood very very soon and then also some other stuff with the truck if you know what i'm saying hopefully you guys are ready to see all this action unfold we got so much happening that's just crazy but hopefully you guys can keep up we've got a lot coming up soon 
So stay tuned, we got some huge, huge, huge announcements on the Limited and who's winning that truck and taking it home. We don't have a winner yet, so don't ask me, but hopefully by tomorrow or the day after, we can have a winner called and officially picked by the sweepstakes agency to know exactly who it is is taking home that brand new 2019 3500 Ram with that 6.7 Cummins in it. And also, do not forget, if you want to win our budget build Chevy Blue Lightning, it's not here right now, we got to go pick it up. But if you want to win that truck, every $5 is five entries to win, and that ends in five days. Information is down in the description below. There's actually a timer on the website, and it's counting down. So if the timer's going, that's how many days and minutes and seconds you have left to enter, and then it's gone. This isn't a giveaway that gets near as many entries as like our diesels, so you have a higher chance of winning, but it is also not a big, cool diesel truck. It's a big, cool gas truck. So if you want a shot at winning that, information in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.